Honest. Humble. Fearless. Consistent. Strong. Charismatic. Prepared. Patient. Responsible. Bishop was a hard worker. He was a good provider. And he loved and respected our mom. And his love and respect for her set the tone for the way she was going to be treated in our home. And um, we might not have always agreed, but there was not going to be any back talking, door slamming, eyes rolling. There, there was not going to be any of that. Um, Bishop is the same guy at church and at home. He probably jokes around and laughed a whole lot more you know, at home, and um, we were always playing. He loved to play with us. I feel blessed that he gave us um, the perfect example, you know, for how to interact as a husband, to how to be there and how to provide, how to stay committed to the family, to the marriage, to his children, and he has never wavered in that, ever. The main thing I've learned is respect. And then I've also learned how to make a person happy without sacrificing my ethics or, or um, my character. Uh, I, I know how to respect and love my wife because I watch Bishop Blake love and respect my mother, his wife. And um, I, I thank God for both of my parents because both of them together taught me how to live, taught me how to think, and, and taught me how to love and respect. He took us on day trips, he took us on road trips, long road trips, he took us on vacations. He disciplined us, he encouraged us, he did not shy away from the hard conversations, and we are all flesh and blood, we are human, and we gave him the human problems that kids give parents. One of the main things uh, my father taught me was to always be prepared for what is before me. I have been told by mom that I'll have his uh, grace under pressure. I would like to believe that I can make people feel in conversations and interactions with them the same way that he causes people to feel. I would aspire to share his quality of humility. I learned by watching him uh, to be gentle, that just because you have the strength to do whatever you want, you're not supposed to do that. I learned how a man is supposed to treat a woman. I learned how a man is supposed to take care of a woman and his family. I learned how a man is supposed to talk to a woman. I learned how a man is supposed to disagree. The thing that makes me most proud about my father is that he can still stand and smile through all that he's been through. A lot of people would look at him and say, oh, his life has been great, it's always been great, but he has had Many trials, he has suffered, he has been in pain, but through it all, he has stood the test of time and he is yet standing and God has much more in store for him. I'm most proud of him now because he is fulfilling his purpose. I am proudest of his integrity. I am proudest of his humility. And I'm so proud of the kindness that he shows. I believe at the end of our lives, what's going to be most important is how we touched each other. And I know of no person that is kinder and more compassionate. He is never too busy to stop and look someone in the eye and say, I see you, I feel you. I'm praying for you. I love you. That's what makes me proudest. Um, Dad, I thank God so much that he put you in my life um, as a father and as an example. Um, I hope one day to be as loving as you, as gentle and as wise as you. 
um, as fearless as you are. Um, there are so many things that I would love to be able to say, but we simply do not have the time. Um, any life that I live, any good that comes from me is um, to a, a large part because of um, who you've been to me, um, the example that you've lived before me. The, um, it's become almost a code of honor um, for my family, for our family. And um, I can say that you'll live forever in my heart, in the hearts of our children, in the hearts of um, Charles and Julian. And if I can be half the man that you are, I think I'll be okay. Um, I, like I said, I wanna be just like you as much as I can and still be me. Um, I love you and you are the best man that I know. I will never know all of the sacrifices that you made for me, but I do know that I can never do enough to let you know how grateful I am. I could never tell you enough times to let you know how proud I am of you. I love you with all of my heart. You have been such a blessing to me. Seeing you smile is one of the greatest joys of my life. I love you. And I thank you for putting up with me, spending time with me, and pouring into my heart and into my mind. You've encouraged so many people with your preaching, with your life, with your example, and with your statements. Now it's time for you to hear a statement. Bishop Blake, Dad, I see you in the future, and you look much better than you look right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand on your feet and welcome the fragrance of this house, our First Lady, Mrs. May L. Blake. What a wonderful time we have had thus far. You know, tonight we have gone back into time. You have heard much about Bishop Charles E. Blake, Sr. You know what a brilliant and awesome leader he is. You know that. You know about his extraordinary IQ and his exceptional intelligence. You know that. You already know about his amazing modesty and his humility. You know that. You know that he is one of God's top quality superior warriors and fearless gladiators in the fight against Satan. You know, you know all of these things. You know that he is a man with a God-given mission for ministering to the whole man, spirit, mind, and body. And you know that he has been a blessing in your lives. Bishop Blake, I would like to thank you for being an exceptional and excellent husband. Thank you. Thank you for being a superb and magnificent father to our wonderful, amazing, and intelligent children who always allow both of us to serve God's people through the years. Our daughters in love, Janine, and Deandra, and our son in love, Martin. You are an incredible grandfather to our adorable children. And thank you for being a remarkable and tremendous spiritual leader to us all. In giving God the praise, the honor, and the glory, I respect you, and I 
esteem you. And in all humility and grace, I will bow before you because of the magnitude of the greatness that God has bestowed upon you.